16 children orphaned by parents who died of Ebola, living together in this one-room shanty. They have no one to take care of them. Relatives and community members fearful of infection reject them, even though they are all Ebola-free. As a way of coping psychologically, they reenact death by Ebola scenes they lived through at home. The woman who took it upon herself to turn her former fax and photocopy business into a children's home says she couldn't turn her back on Guinea's orphans. I'm a mother and have children. I could not stand by and watch these children be stigmatized. I had to take action. Money for their care comes from private sector donations. There's enough to last through 2015. Hopefully by then, they will return to their families and communities. But social programs and networks needed to look after the well-being of West Africa's Ebola orphans are lacking. In the race to contain the Ebola virus, the major thing that got left behind is the children. What happens to the children when the sanitizers come in, remove their parents' bodies, sanitize the house, and then leave? Left behind, the children are abandoned, stigmatized, and suffering the pain of incredible loss. It's very different here than before. When I lived at home with my parents, I used to play differently at home. I don't get enough to eat like at my parents, and we're here crammed together in a very small space. As the Ebola epidemic continues assailing West Africa, newfound social programs are addressing some of these children's needs. But for thousands upon thousands of Ebola orphans, the damage will never be undone. Stephanie Freed, CCTV, Conakry, Guinea.